Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I would like to talk about a topic that a lot of photographers find challenging. Yes, harsh light in landscape photography. Now, I know what you're thinking, harsh light, not a chance for a good photo. But fear not, because I have some four ideas and tricks to share with you today that even in the worst light conditions, you will be able to make a great photos. So, stick around until the end, because the last two ideas are game changers, and one of them, no one is talking about it. You only will find it in this video. So, let's go! Well, during this season of the year, the sunrise is very early and the sunset very late. So, if I go out for the sunrise later, I'm like a zombie because I didn't sleep at all. So if you have the same problem as me, don't worry, because I'm gonna show you some tips to shoot also during the day. Well, let's jump to our first photo idea, going black and white. Those intense shadows and bright highlights can add a dramatic touch to your photos. Harsh light creates striking contrast, which works very well in black and white photos. So let's talk about the photo I have here. As you can see, it's just a simple tree. But the key of this photo is the simplicity of it. I chose this tree because there are no distractions around it. So in this way, the picture is simpler and the viewer will focus easily on the main subject, the tree. And that's it! We focus on the tree f11 because it's the sharpest point of the lens and the shutter speed I don't care because I have a tripod and there is no movement at all. Alright, I hope you liked the first photo idea, and now let's go to find the second one. Alright, let's begin with the second photo idea of the day. Pay attention because you won't find it in another video. The key of this photo is to find out a flower with direct light and the background in the shadows. In this way, with this technique, you will separate the flower with the background adding sense of depth and drama to the photo. The other thing that you have to be aware of is that the light will change continuously, so once you find the flower in these conditions, you have to be very fast. And that's it, we focus on the flower of course, and be careful with the highlights and don't overexpose them. Actually, I'm not very satisfied with the result of this photo. It doesn't show all the potential of this idea. Also, I forgot to explain to you some tips for this photo, so that's why I went out again. The other day I forgot to mention that if you want to use a macro lens or even a smartphone to make this photo, be careful, because probably you will be very close to the subject and you won't let the light reach the flower. In these situations, you have to change the position and look for another composition. As you can see, the separation between the flower and the background here is better than in the previous photo, because there is less light on the background, making the photo more pleasant for the viewers. If you find interesting the content I show to you in this video and you don't want to miss anything, just subscribe, it's free! <laughs> and now let's see the most important idea of this video. Well, the last idea of the day is quite simple, go out and shoot, it's the only way to improve your photography. When you are learning photography, sometimes you win or sometimes you lose, but the more you try, trust me, the better will be your photos. If I can do a great photos myself, you can do it as well. But true, if you can, everybody can. What are you doing here? Well, I am trying your new photo ideas. Really? Do you like my ideas? Mmm, no. But it's better than doing nothing at home. <sighs> Whatever. Anyway, now is your moment. Go out and shoot. And if you still don't want to go out and you need more motivation, why don't you watch one of my other videos? There are plenty of tips and nice photo ideas. And that's it for today. So thank you so much for watching the video. Let me know in the comments which one is your favorite photo. And if you like the content, don't forget to subscribe. Agur et urrengo arte.